welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are well wherever you are welcome back to another what i eat in a day i haven't done one of these in a while and i have been making a lot of changes in what i eat so i thought it would be fun just to bring you guys along show you what i am eating and what i'm not eating to get healthy because that is the journey i am on right now i am trying to get healthy i'm still doing some intermittent fasting so i'm not really eating my first meal until about i'm gonna sit you guys down right here so I'm not really eating my first meal until about noon. Sometimes it's 11, it just depends on how I feel. And I've been starting my day with a cup of lovely tea. So this is a detox tea. This is the everyday detox tea and it has dandelions in it. And it also has licorice root and peppermint and a lot of yummy things. So I've been starting my day off with this. So one thing that I am starting to implement is the AIP, that is the autoimmune protocol. So I am starting to implement that. I've eliminated a lot of things out of my diet. So I'm not doing any nightshades. I'm not doing any eggs. I'm not gonna be doing any nuts or seeds until I can reintroduce those things. So the main goal that I'm focused on right now is healing my gut. And I know that I have issues with my gut because for one, my arms are still inflamed. So I do have KP and I've had it for a couple of years now. I didn't get it until after my pregnancy, my first pregnancy. And I kind of didn't really mind it. I didn't care. I wasn't bothered by it because I was just in a different mindset then. And I was really just mo mostly focused on my kids. But now time has passed and I don't really like it. So I've been able to get the bumps down. I've really been eliminating the bump. However, my arms are still red, which means that there's still inflammation. So I know that everything starts with the gut and I'm really focused on healing my gut right now. So I am starting the autoimmune protocol which is just an elimination diet that helps you to eliminate things that may be irritating the gut. You eliminate those things to allow your gut time to heal and then you can start to reintroduce things again. It's gonna be interesting. I really eat a lot of eggs, so I think eggs and dairy, the cheese, is probably gonna be two most challenging things, but I am committed and I'm really looking forward to healing my gut, so I'm gonna be, I'm going all in, focused on getting it done. So. Today, you guys are gonna join me for what I eat in a day, and I'm starting to implement the AIP, so I won't be having any eggs, dairy, nuts, seeds, no nightshades, all that is being cut out of my diet. And it's really gonna be challenging as well with the spices, because I'm used to cooking with a lot of spices, and I use paprika and chili powder and all that good jazz, and all that has to be cut out. So, food's probably gonna be a little bit bland and pale, so I like to use paprika a lot of times to give things color let's jump in today's video on what I eat in a day then I'm also going to bring you along for some of the habits that I've been trying to do so in the morning I am trying to get outside just to get some good old vitamin D on my skin as much as skin as possible I go outside and I get some vitamin D and I drink my tea trying to go for a daily walk so I am still doing exercise about once or twice a week sometimes three times a week it just really all depends on my schedule so I'm not doing anything too high intense because that also causes stress on the body so I'm just trying to keep stress and inflammation down and heal my gut I will sometimes have bone broth this is it for now until I break my fast at noon and I will show you what that looks like from connecting with the earth getting my vitamin D and it was so peaceful out there just listening to the birds chirp reading my book so this is the book that I'm currently reading this is the elimination diet I rented this from the library so what I've been doing is weekly I take the girls to the library to get new books and while I'm there I've been getting books for me as well so this is the one that I am reading this week and it was so peaceful outside just reading a couple of pages drinking my tea there isn't any more eating really going on right now eating or drinking I'm just having my tea so I'm gonna check back in with you guys when it is time to eat lunch and break my fast.
All right, you guys, so I am back. It is finally time for me to break my fast. I'm just now starting to feel a little bit hungry. I've just had my tea so far and I've just been drinking regular water. But now I'm about to have me a salad. So I'm gonna have some arugula. I have a piece of chicken that was from leftovers from last night's dinner. So I'm gonna heat that up. Don't really have the cooking thing right now. I just really have to assemble everything. So I have my greens. I'm gonna be adding on top of it some red cabbage, like shaved red cabbage, some carrots, some avocado. Cucumber, onion, fresh garlic. Did I say radishes already? Radishes, if I didn't say it already. And then I'm gonna top that with my homemade olive oil, Dijon mustard vinaigrette. So very simple, but I like to load up my salad and I'm gonna also have it with chicken breast. And I think I'm also gonna make me like a collagen smoothie. So let's jump into assembling this for my lunch. This is my first meal and I'm gonna be breaking my fast with this. So I already have all my stuff kind of already like in here, so I have my avocado. This is my chicken, I'm gonna heat that up. And I have some radishes here. I like to store them in water. I find that when I put root vegetables like this or carrot in water, they last longer. Then I have my arugula. So I have wild baby arugula here. And that is how I'm gonna make my salad. So let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> So this is what my lunch is looking like. I have arugula salad topped with a bunch of different veggies. I got a little bit of sauerkraut. And I got some grilled chicken breast here. I'm gonna get it all mixed up and I'm going to be topping it with my homemade vinaigrette dressing. And then I made a cilantro type of sauce for my chicken just to give some extra flavors. And then I'm gonna be also having my supplements now. So I do take this beef liver every day. So I take the grass-fed beef liver, I take some raw zinc, and then I take a vitamin D, vitamin D and K2. And then in my refrigerator, I have my fermented cod liver oil. So these are my supplements that I take every day. This one is preferred to be refrigerated, so that one stays in there. And this is the only cod liver oil that I use. And you have to really read the ingredients labels on supplements because they they add a bunch of gunk in there and they sneak in sneaky ingredients in our supplements. So make sure you read the ingredients. Just gonna get out my vitamins. So I take two of these, two of these. My vitamin D. and my zinc. So lunch is served. So this is what my lunch is looking like, you guys. I'm excited to dig in. I have a little dressing here. So I'm gonna eat this and then after, I'm gonna make me the collagen smoothie, which is fairly simple. All it is is just a handful of fruit, about a half a cup just berries because I'm not eating any high glycemic fruit I'm trying to keep things on a low sugar so I'm gonna be doing a couple of berries with just some coconut milk and collagen and that's all it is so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys when it's time to make this smoothie so that portion of my lunch is done. Now I'm gonna be making me a collagen smoothie with just a handful of ingredients. It's really simple. It's just a really quick way for me to get my collagen in. Sometimes I like to add the collagen to tea, but today I'm feeling a little jazzy. So I'm gonna add it to a smoothie. Not gonna be using a whole lot of fruit. So I'm gonna be using about a half a cup of fruit today. Not a whole lot. And I am using wild blueberries and strawberries frozen. This is the coconut milk that I use. It's organic coconut milk. It's from Trader Joe's and all of this is coconut milk and water so I typically will open a can and I'll just add it to a mason jar and store it in the refrigerator so that's what I have here so I'm gonna go ahead and add this with my berries and then I have my collagen here and I also picked this one up at Trader Joe's as well so I'm gonna whip that up as like a little tasty treat and a good way for me to get my collagen in <laughs> Thank you. 
it all blended up. collagen smoothie you guys very yummy I try to get collagen in every day so I usually put it in tea or sometimes depending on how I feel today I wanted a little bit of berries so I got both in one made a little smoothie of it our bodies naturally make collagen, but the older you get, the less your body starts to make. So the collagen is supposed to encourage strong and healthy bones and joints. It's supposed to help with skin, so it's supposed to help with wrinkle-free skin. It's supposed to boost hydration, so it's supposed to prevent wrinkles. And it's supposed to help with weight loss and gut issues. So I've just been trying to add a little bit every day. So cheers to you guys. I'm going to drink my smoothie now, and I will check back in when I'm going to make dinner because I won't be eating after this until dinner. Dinner. So in between time, I'll have more tea or I'll make lemon water or keto lemonade depending on how I feel. I think today I'm just going to have this with water in between and I'll see you guys at dinner. It is almost dinner time and I am really getting hungry. I have worked up a, a mean appetite. So I did take the girls to the pool and we just got in. We just got all freshened up and washed up. And so now I'm about to prepare some dinner. And for dinner tonight, I'm making something different. This is gonna be my first time making this, but I wanted to try something different. So I was starting to get a little bored. So tonight I'm gonna to be making like a Moroccan chicken. Put the recipe down in the description if you're curious to try it, along with some cauliflower rice. So let's get cooking because I am hungry. Off my cauliflower rice topped with some of that chicken and some asparagus. Yeah. The Morocco chicken was a hit, you guys. I demolished it. So I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description box, like I mentioned. So I didn't add a lot of the spices that the recipe called for since I'm on AIP. But it still turned out really good. I'm very happy with it. It gave me the flavor that I needed. And it made the cauliflower rice taste a lot better. That's it for today's video, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and clean the kitchen up. Hopefully you got some ideas on what you can eat on AIP. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Maybe down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.